Sirius XM 124. Welcome back to the Lara Coat Show on Sirius XM's POTUS Channel 124. Filling in for Lara, here's your host, Dr. Rashawn Ray. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Laura Coat Show, Sirius XM POTUS. I want to bring in my next guest, Dr. Lavelle Allen, who is on Twitter at Lavelle Allen MD, L A V E I L Allen MD. Dr. Allen is the Chief of Emergency Radiology at Vanderbilt. Medical Center. Dr. Allen, I want to pivot and ask you about diversity in the medical profession. One of the things that I know you're known for is creating what's called Black Doctors Lounge. It's a social media platform and outlet to increase uh, awareness about Black physicians in the medical profession. And this is extremely important because a recent UCLA study found that the proportion of physicians who are Black in the U.S. has increased only four percentage points in the past 120 years. And the share of doctors who are black men has remained unchanged since 1940. Why have you taken up this mantle to try to address this issue? Well, because I think it's, a, it's an important crux of public health, Dr. Ray. Uh, when we talk about health and minority populations, it really goes back to trust. Uh, and right now in the medical community, there's a lot of distrust within minority communities for for hospitals in whole. Some of it goes back to Henrietta Lacks and the research that was done without her consent. Uh, it may go back to the Tuskegee experiment. It may be related to J. Marion Sims, who uh, was doing research on women. He's known as the father of OBGYN, uh, but he actually did a lot of that research that gained him that notoriety and moniker on enslaved women without anesthesia. So rightfully so, there is some distrust within the community. But what studies have found time and time again is that trust a lot of time goes hand in hand with seeing someone in that physician office that looks like you, that resembles you. Uh, black men have been proven to be more adherent preventative screenings related to cholesterol screenings, blood pressure screenings, diabetes, melodic screenings, if there is a black doctor that's taking care of them. Uh, it's been shown time and time again. And even more aligned with what we're speaking on now is it relates to invasive uh, preventative medicine, such as a flu shot and or a COVID-19 vaccination. Individuals of color are more apt to be adherent to those measures so for me, as a black physician, as a black male, uh, one of 2.5% of black male physicians in America, um, and as you mentioned, it, it's, it's pretty wild to think, Dr. Ray, that in 1940, lynchings were still legal uh, and prevalent in America. Jim Crow laws were prevalent. And in 2018, we have the same percentage of black male physicians as we did when those things were occurring. And so it's something that I think is important for the community. Uh, at, at large uh, for public health uh, in America. Um, and honestly, I, I just think that it's something that uh, all Americans should be focused on uh, improving. Mm. So I want to ask you one, one last question, maybe two. Let's see, see how quickly we can get through these. As you talk about this diversity, we know that historically black colleges and universities are, are quite important. And reading your bio is quite extensive. Um, I mean, you, you've been all over the map. I, I believe you did a, an intern year at Harvard. Um, you did your residency at Tulane, but you did your undergrad work in your, uh, your, your medical school practice at Tennessee State University and Meharry Medical, medical School, which is down the road from Vanderbilt. How important are HBCUs in diversifying the medical profession? I, I can't even place a percentage or a number of quantitative value, it's, that's how important they are. Uh, if we take a look, we look back at the Flexner report that came out in 1910, it was responsible for five of the seven historically black colleges that train uh, black physicians uh, being shut down. Um, and the AMA has since apologized for that ruling in 2008. But uh, I'll say to you that 86% uh, of the black physicians that we see in America have originated from 
Meharry Medical College or Howard University Medical School in D.C. So when you talk about how important they are, uh, they are incredibly important. Since we've now onboarded Morehouse Medical College in Atlanta and Drew in California, uh, but, you know, I'll say to you that we cannot underestimate at all the importance of HBCUs in training physicians. And I definitely have to shout out Dr. Ray Xavier University of Louisiana, Morehouse and Spelman in Atlanta uh, as being the greatest feeders of individuals that go on to become black physicians, pharmacists and dentists. Got it. Dr. Allen, that wonderful information. Thank you for coming on, sharing this with us. Uh, look, people should visit Black Doctors Lounge. They should contact Dr. Allen on Twitter, L-A-V-E-I-L, Allen, M-D. And Dr. Allen, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me, Dr. Wright.